welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Hero Arts and more specifically the Hero Arts My Monthly Hero subscription kits. I am a regular subscriber to the kits. Uh, this past year and so far in 2020, this is being filmed in late January, things have just been crazy. I haven't had a chance to work on my kits very often. So I thought that I would film for you whatever I can, when I can, because this is a no pressure, no rush, no stress kind of channel. So today I have for you um, a card share um, from the June 2019 kit, uh, which I just had a chance to work on this past couple of weeks. Uh, I have a bunch of kits that haven't been used, but they have been opened and kind of I just closed my eyes and grabbed one. <laughs> and that's the one that, that I decided to have fun with and I did have a lot of fun with it and you'll see those cards in a minute. And I have two kits to unbox that I haven't had a chance to open yet. I have the December 2019 kit and then I also have the January 2020 kit to unbox. So we'll get to those, but first I want to talk about the Hero Arts subscription uh, really quick just because they're running a sale on it right now and it's a really good deal. So the way that the Hero Arts box works is it's $35 a month and they automatically send you, uh, you can sign up to, to automatically pay and they automatically send you the kit every month. Or you can, and that's $35. Or you can prepay for three months at a time and that's $102. And then you, and then of course you get the three months automatically sent to you. And, and um, then there's the six month option, which is $32 three dollars a month for that kit and it's 198 dollars but they're running a sale right now on the six month kit where you save 25 dollars so that's a really good deal um if that is something that you're able to do and i'll have the links for all of those down below so that you can check them out uh, and then of course the kits are available for regular sale as well um, if you don't want to subscribe um, sometimes they sell out pretty quick so if you're interested in the kits but don't want to sign up for a subscription make sure to sign up for their emails so that you at least get noticed when the kits are released sometimes stuff sells out and sometimes it doesn't so <laughs> and uh, one, I think one or two of the kits that I'm going to show you today are actually still available if you're interested so let's go ahead and just because it's the the oldest kit that we're going to talk about today um, I will show you the uh, June 2019 kit and the couple of cards that I made with the kit or I'll show you what's left with it and I did do an unboxing way back when when I opened up the the kit so that is available on my channel if you're interested but we're going to go over the stuff just uh, just because right now you get this fantastic stamp set this is a six by eight oops I'm flicking off uh, a die by accident this is a six by eight stamp set so let's pull this out and get a little piece of paper underneath it so that we can see it better here's my grocery list um, it is a jungle animal and greenery themed with a couple of different sentiments and that really great kind of mini font and scripty style that Hero Arts does with a lot of their kits. Um, I thought this was really cute. I liked a lot of the animals. Uh, the only one animal I think that I didn't use was the, um, the elephant here um, it's my daughter used it but just because it has the elephant has like a, a little hat on or whatever which I thought was weird for a jungle animal to be wearing accessories <laughs> so so I didn't really find a, a, a use for that in the particular cards and the inspiration that I went with but you get a nice big elephant with that oh, you can see these are the die cuts that my daughter made uh, she she worked along the, the kit with me and I die cut these for her after she colored them. <laughs> uh, you do get the coordinating dies that go with it and you get two fancy dies, which are these two vines right here. You get that to go along with it. So stamps and dies, excellent. You also get a watercolor dot, dot card, Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolors. And here it is, and as you can see, mine is quite heavily used, but I still have some of the colors left, so I put it back in the plastic bag that it came in. And I will slip this right into my watercolor box. My regular watercolors are the uh, Tombe, Tombe Gonzai set. So when I'm done with this video, I'm just gonna slip this dot card right in top here, and I will keep it, and I will eventually use it up. These are really nice. I did enjoy using these. Um, and mixing some of the colors. I do have a little, oh, I haven't even washed it yet. <laughs> I do have a little palette here on the side where I kind of mixed some colors to get some tones uh, that I wanted that weren't available here, but it was a lot of fun. The kit also comes with this little ink cube, 
which is an intensified black ink cube from Hero Arts. I'm assuming that it's waterproof. I don't know too much about this ink. I didn't actually use it because I wanted to um, uh, I wanted to heat emboss, clear heat emboss, so I actually used my Versafine ink instead of this when I stamped out my images. So I will save this and this will go into my box for a giveaway at a future time. And then the kit also comes with this 6x6 leaf pattern stencil which I thought was pretty fun and I did get a chance to use this a little bit as well. I don't yet have that fabulous pixie spray that everybody's talking about that they put on the back of their stencils to help hold it down. And after inking with this, I'm definitely going to invest in, I think it's like $10 a can, um, because every time I was trying to blend over it, these little things are picking up and oh, it was so annoying. So <laughs> Pixie Spray is definitely on my list to pick up before I uh, do some stenciling again. So anyway, these are the items that did come in the kit. Super fun kit and I kind of had these all just sitting aside and I kind of closed my eyes and I just grabbed the kit to work on. So let's talk about the cards that I made to go with this kit. I only made five cards. Um, I stamped out all of the images, many of them, well all of the images that I planned on using, many of them multiple times like the various greens. Um, and then I just watercolored them. I had a really nice afternoon watercoloring and my daughter came home from school and she wanted to watercolor too. So she stamped out some and she watercolored alongside of me. It was really great. And then I die cut them all and then I kind of pieced them together and made cards until I ran out of, ran out of images. So I, I came up with five different cards here. This first one here was inspired by one of the cards that was actually um, a design team card for the Hero Arts kit and this is kind of the one that got me in the mood to work with the kit. A lot of times if I'm sort of lacking or falling behind in some inspiration for something, I find a project that somebody else has done that I like and I start to emulate it. Um, and then as I'm emulating it, I kind of put my own twist on it and that kind of gets me in the mood, gets me thinking, gets the creative juices flowing. Then I can put my own twist on it and then I can kind of make it my own. And then that's usually enough to rev the engine to get me started going with the other ones. Uh, so this one has the cute kitty right here and just some greens and I've propped it up with a little foil here, some stay, the stay wild sentiment, which is white heat embossed on some green cardstock that I had sitting in my stash. And here's that stenciled background. And I used uh, Twisted Citron and I think Forest Moss to come up with this particular um, ombre green here that I really liked in the background. <clears throat> and these gems right here are from the Ink Road. And I forget what, what they call their color, but it's their sort of like jungly green uh, pearl, half pearl bead thing that they have here. And then of course all of the greens that were all die, die ugh, all <laughs> painted uh, and then die cut. A lot of fun and I used um, Canson XL watercolor paper for these. Here's another one with another kitty. Uh, this is probably the hardest one that I had coloring is the the tiger here because I kept messing up the shading and it's still it's still not right. I'm still not super pleased with it but I got it to the point where I was like yeah good enough. <laughs> I'm not the greatest colorist and I'm not the greatest with watercolor, but I love using it. It's fun. Um, and this I put on a, um, a white embossed background that was sent to me by my friend Brina when she made a months, months, months back. Um, I showed it in another video. She made a bunch of um, die cut and embossed white backgrounds for me to kind of um, test them out and play with them a little bit. So this is one that came from from that stash that she sent me. And my husband actually picked this out. He thought it would look really nice in the background. Here's more of those gems. This one's also propped up with a little uh, foam here and some more greens and the kitty peeking out. This one here I had a lot of fun with because I just watercolored the background using some of the paints here because I still had some left in that little palette that I showed you earlier. So I decided to just quickly paint um, a background and I pulled together a scene with some creatures for this. And I put little, I used my craft knife and I made little slits in the watercolor paper to slip some of the die cuts back in there a little bit. But I thought that, I thought this was fun. This is one of my favorites. I love, love, love this color. This is the um, phalo turquoise color. It's beautiful. I may end up just buying a little tube of this. I think that's where they get you. <laughs> Daniel Smith is that you fall in love with these colors and then you have to have them. So I think I may end up buying that, that watercolor just because it is so pretty. And this one here, um, it says, hello friend. And this is another ink background. Actually, I had die cut a frame out of this one. And, oops, and this is the frame that I had die cut 
out of that. I decided to make a second card using that. So just a little snake here, and this is that those fancy dyes, the vine dyes, just surrounding it. And I thought "Hello, friend" was a funny sentiment for a snake because I, when I'm when I read it, I'm doing it in my head, like if I'm speaking parcel tongue, like you know that kind of like snaky voice where like "Hello, friend." <laughs> anyway, so I thought that was fun. And this one here, kind of another play on this one where I went crazy. Uh, just more greens tucked behind the sentiment that's propped up by foam tape, some more embellishments. Um, I, I put the, oh, and this background is also painted using um, some of the leftover paints that I had on the palette. I ended up putting the sentiment too high on the card when it was done um, and realized that I had a ton of blank space on the bottom and I couldn't lift any of this up without destroying the background. So I actually pulled from my recycle basket, I pulled another strip of green out from the bottom and decided to do something, <laughs> something down there to bring some, to bring your eye um, away from the fact that this was all just boring blank space. So I put a strip of green down here and some more of those dots from the ink road and there you have it. Those are the five cards that I had made with this kit. It is super cute. And as usual with Hero Arts, it has a lot of really great bits and bits and bobs and little pieces or whatever that you can use to pull together other uh, types of cards in the future if you want. Uh, and then, yes, I'm looking on the website right now. This kit is still available if you are interested. So I will have it linked for you down below. You can purchase that separately. So let's move on to the other fun stuff. I have two Hero Arts boxes here that I have never opened. They've just been sitting on the side of my desk forever and ever and ever. And I think that, yeah, this one's December and then this one's January. So let's go ahead and go chronologically and open up the December one first. And I've got my little knife right here. Now, I, I don't remember what's in this one. Let me look. Oh yes, this is a beautiful kit and I was looking forward to getting this one and then I didn't get a chance to use it very much. So I'm going to take all the good stuff out of here and I will set the box aside. Normally I would let my rabbit chew on the box and play with it, but I've been using them to ship, ship my merchandise for my Poshmark closet. So uh, you get a thank you card. What is this here? Sign up for Creative Bug to take a class. Very nice. We'll put the you know this uh paper has been really good um uh just a really nice strong paper that i've been using them as shims in my die cuts uh my gemini not necessarily putting it directly into my um recycle box at this time ooh, ooh. Ooh, this is so pretty okay so this is the december kit this kit is still available so let's have a look at what we've got here do, do, do. Let's open a little goodies. We get, oh, I just totally ripped that. Awesome. I'm Grace, let me tell you. Okay, let's get this aside. This is a, an Earth Palette Reactive Ink Pad, which I think is kind of, you can use it as a watercolor because they also included some mini watercolor brushes. These I don't particularly care for. We got them in a kit. I think two years ago we got them in a kit and I did not, I didn't care for them. So I'm probably not even going to open this. This is probably going to go right into my giveaway pile. Um, beautiful colors, beautiful. We've got a half ounce package of green eco glitter. Ooh, biodegradable glitter. That's fantastic. It's great and safe for all your crafting projects. It's plant materials instead of petroleum based plastic. That is fantastic. Wow, and it's marked here. I wonder if you can buy this separately. I'll have to look into that on the website. Oh, that's fantastic. I still think that it would it's super messy. <laughs> uh, and I probably wouldn't um, probably wouldn't use it a lot just because I don't care for things that are super messy, but let's see um, if this is a product that you can buy. No, um, not yet anyway, at least as far as I can tell. Unfortunate, but I do hope that they come out with their own branded line of eco glitter because I think that's fantastic. All right, moving on. Back to the page I was on. So glitter, brushes, ink palette, we're gonna open up this here. This cording this month is some sort of 
twisted cord. Maybe this is some sort of hemp or something. I don't know. It's pretty nice. It's really strong. I like it. We're going to hang on to that and use, pro use it on the project. We get this gorgeous stamp set here and the 18 coordinating frame cuts. Let's find out where the opening is and crack this open and have a closer look at the stamps, which is very earth very earthy earth theme let me get my shopping list back out to put behind Ooh, it doesn't want to come off the paper here to put behind the um stamp so that we can see it better let me pull these glue dots off or as my daughter calls them the boogers pull the boogers off oh this is so nice very like Mother Earth kind of sweet. I have a friend that would absolutely love this. I think I'm gonna make her a card. Look at how gorgeous. You've got this beautiful sort of Mother Earthy woodland mystical, I don't even wanna say fairy, but woman here. And she's got some wildlife that's kind of moving along with her, sort of an ethereal walk, some really cool round sentiments here and I'm thinking that these round ones are meant to fit into here where the hands hold it and oh protect the earth you mean the world to me sending my love I'm with you one world is enough for all of us you know what this may be a really nice um valentine's day card too for my husband oh maybe I'm getting some ideas and then you've got like these two fish I think these all I, th I think that they are designed to either fit in here, the globe, or you can switch it out for the peace symbol or the tree or the, the world or whatever. I think you can sort of build a miniature uh, scene inside here. So just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. And then of course you've got the coordinating dies, which I will uh, not waste your time by snipping them apart in front of you. I will do that off camera and set everything aside from when I'm ready to work on it. So again, that is the December 2019 Hero Arts Kit. Still available. Link down below if you're interested. And let's get to the last one, which is the January kit, which I do know a little something about because I did watch somebody, somebody do some projects with it on YouTube. I don't know if it was Jennifer McGuire or somebody, which is kind of cool. I don't do a lot of Valentine's Day cards. This is the first year my daughter just started middle school, so this is the first year we're not even making cards for her classmates because they don't do, um, they don't do Valentine parties or anything at this age, so <laughs> it's a little bit of a bummer. I didn't even get the, um, the Lawn Fawn Valentine release in December because I don't really have anybody to make cards for anymore for Valentine's Day. So we're going to move this aside here. Um, but I do happen to know, unfortunately, this particular kit is sold out. I will still list it for you down below if you want to take a look at what came in the kit. Uh, but I am really sorry if you missed your chance to get this kit. Let's have a look here. Let's get the paper out of the way, which we will use... For something else I've been reusing these as well in my shipments let's open up the goodie bag first I do save these bags here and reuse them I think we're all trying to find ways where we can reduce our plastic use our plastic consumption reusing things is a great idea okay so we've got some ribbon and I did notice that this didn't come tied with any ribbons, so I think this is probably just the ribbon they would have tied it with. We've got just some pink satin ribbon, poly satin. Pretty standard stuff. Here's another, oh, this bag doesn't say, oh, this bag wasn't taped together, but it does have a piece of tape on it. Aqua Glimmer Metallic Ink, which is, is really lovely. It's a lovely color. I'm probably going to make a huge mess if I try to open this. Ooh, it is really pretty. I wonder if it's more like a paint than an ink. I don't know. What do you think? It's really pretty. Really pretty. Sort of a lovely, um, well, glimmer. <laughs> I was going to say iridescent ink. 
we have some pink sparkle something. Is this embossing powder? Yes, it is pink sparkle embossing powder. I really love this color. I have some really light pink embossing powder, but I don't have this. You know what? I'm not even going to bother opening it because last time I did, I made a huge mess, but you can see through the plastic. Pink sparkle, very fun. Move this bag aside. We've got cardstock eight and a half by it says eight and a half by eight and a half sheets oh I'm sorry eight five and a half by eight and a half sheets of cardstock we've got uh, gosh I'm guessing this one is called fire rose here this pink ooh, this one's shimmery on both sides it's a bit shimmery this one is craft obviously uh, this very, very light pink, I'm guessing, is called, I don't know. Interesting. Okay, so I'm sp there's supposed to be Gold Breeze, Craft, Firewood, and Rose. I don't see anything gold, and I don't see anything that invokes the image of firewood. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's a mistake or if I'm just not understanding what the names of the cardstock are. But anyway, you've got three different uh, tones of pink, all lovely. These two darker shades are glimmer car or shimmer cardstock, which we already know from Hero Arts is fantastic. I love their craft. This is a nice smooth light pink here. I'm sure I'll have fun with it. I love, love, love Hero Arts cardstock, and it die cuts beautifully. Moving on. You've got a four by six stamp set and the coordinating fancy dies. Let us have a peek. Oh my gosh. Oh, that came out a lot easier than the big one did. So these are the stamps. This is great. Um, I'll just a lot of basic sentiments here and not necessarily Valentine's Day themed. Sympathy, get well soon, sending my love. Just really, really nice basic sentiments. Good for any uh, any stash, really. And then you've got some coordinating dies and some fancy dies. So this makes, uh, I believe this makes like a folding um, paper that goes around a bouquet. I'm not sure if that has, an act, ha that has a name. This one looks like it might make an envelope, some flowers and stuff like that. So I think with this one, you've got a lot of die cutting. I don't even think this is necessarily paper piecing. And to be honest, I think that's kind of cool um, because there's a lot that you could do with just these um, because it looks like it embosses a bit too. Uh, a lot, lot that you could do with these, you could die cut them from colored papers, you could die cut them from white and sort of color them or watercolor them however you want. So that's kind of, it looks like this is, um, this offers a lot of creative freedom with being really simple at the same time. So I think this is really cool. And I'm just noticing that it looks like you've got a banner strip and I think that all of the sentiments will fit right into this banner strip that they've already given you, which sort of makes it super, super easy. So this kit actually looks like a lot of fun. Even though I'm not very big on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Make a couple of Valentine's Day cards, but yeah, for my stash, um, definitely some sympathy cards and stuff. I have to tell you that, um, oh, you know what? I'm just noticing this light pink cardstock is actually Glimmer cardstock on the other side which I didn't notice before. It's just, I don't know if just because the sun is rising in a different way out the window and it's it's catching it a little wrong, but the this one's glimmer too. Um, I gave my uh, my family, my sisters and aunts and mother, uh, the usual box of greeting cards that I give them every year uh, for Christmas. And my mother sort of very, um, very nicely and respectfully said that while she loves my cards and I use a lot of Lawn Fawn and Cutesy products, um, they give a lot of cards to, um, male friends, uh, you know, like 60, 70 year old uh, men. Um, so she was looking for cards that were a little bit more mature, <laughs> mature looking and, and a little bit less uh, cute little forest animals and rainbows. Um, so I think that I might use this to make a lot of cards for her as well. It's very cool. And I think this one, um, people have been stamping on their paper before um, it to kind of make like a newsprint before rolling stuff up. So I think that's kind of cool. All right, anyway, <laughs> done blabbering. And again, unfortunately, this kit is sold out. 
Um, if you have extra cash, um, uh, people sometimes uh, still de-stash their, their kits on eBay or whatnot, but I am really sorry about that, but I will have the links for it down below if you want to check it out. Oh, sorry for the long video. I wanted to do a catch up with everything that I had for Hero Arts so far. I'm still trying to get caught up on video making and so on and so forth. I hope that you are well and thank you so much for watching and for your support and all of the uh, messages and things that I have been getting from my friends that I have met here on YouTube. I appreciate you so much. Take care. Have an amazing day and we will talk later. Bye.